Ladies and gents, welcome back again for a new video. Today, I'll be installing Arch Linux. And the reason I'm actually making this video is because I've seen a lot of people in the comments saying that they want to switch to Linux and specifically to Arch, but they're not really sure if they should do that or not. That's why I decided to install Arch Linux myself. I have a timer in here so I can know how long it will take for the whole installation from the points where I will type Arch install to the points where it will be basically done. And all I need to do is reboots. The moment so I will click on SARS, I will power on the machine. So let's just keep this close. So yeah, okay, perfect. Oh yeah, I need to like stretch everything just so I can see well. Arch Linux, now it's gonna do its things and basically load everything that needs to be loaded. Welcome to Arch Linux. Without the existence of Arch install, everything was gonna be still complicated, just like back in the early years of Arch where you had to do everything yourself. But now this little scripts can do everything and they mean everything uh you gotta like connect to the wi-fi right or like to the ethernet i would recommend using the ethernet because once you do that you don't have to deal with any wi-fi bullshits and because i'm using a virtual machine i don't really have to do that you can basically connect to the internet with three commands but for me i don't need to do that so immediately i will go with arch install so we can start the installation now it's gonna do its things might take a couple minutes or even less than that and then it will load the whole thing or like the whole interface that he will use to install art all right here we are this is the menu i wish every other linux installation was the same as that because i feel like this one is more convenient actually like just look how simple and clear it is everything in front of your face and you can start with whatever you want for example the password or the swap or the bootloader or whatever and yeah it's fairly easy the language i'll keep it the same locals keep that the same as well select region i will go deny to states and then get back if you can see there is that little thing that pop up next to the option you selected like that little thingy which means that you have selected something in that option this configuration i'll go with partitioning use the best effort default partition i'll keep it like that then select the virtual hard drive i created and then xc4 i believe we're good to go so back disk encryption i don't need it swap is already enabled bootloader i would like to use uh lemon 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 i don't know how to pronounce it that's fine uh host name i will delete that and type jason wait did i yeah jason all right and the password of course i'll answer a password then re-answer that password user accounts add a user jason the password here you go i will confirm yes i would recommend given that user you created the privileges to basically change everything because you don't have to create another one later on so Okay, let's just select yes and then you go confirm and exit. Don't just cancel or get back or anything. Confirm and exit. Profile type. And here you got like couple options. I will go with desktop because I'm not really a big fan of minimal or server or Xorg. Sure, they're like basically really simple with uh, nothing pre-installed. But I will go with desktop. And you can see what's all this stuff that's come pre-installed and every option you choose. I will go with KDA Plasma. But you got a lot of options including for example hyperland or gnome or cute fish or cinnamon there is a lot of options but i'll just go with kde plasma oh yeah one thing is the graphic drivers uh well i got an intel uh but you know what because this is a virtual machine i don't know really what's going on in the background so i'll go with all but if you have a specific graphic card like nvidia you can go with either this one or this one or even this one but i will really suggest this one for newer nvidia cards and stuff and do sue for the old ones all right because they work the best all right so let's just go with all greeter oh yeah i gotta change that one for sure i don't really like that one that's why i go with ly it's like much simpler and i like stuff to be a bit simple even on the login screen yep and then we get back the audio pipe wire is more modern but you can go with pulse audio as well but i personally select pipe wire all right kernels i'll keep it the defaults network and i will We'll just go with that one over here. Additional packages, I don't need that. Time zone doesn't matter. After that, you only have to select one more thing. Like it's either a yes and a no at some point in the installation. And that's really it. Then you have to reboot and you'll be ready to go. Let's just install. Select yes. Five, four, three, two, one. Now it's going to do 
a job and you just have to sit down and relax just like you do with any other Linux distribution. It's not really that different. And instead in this Arch Linux installation, you will see the codes popping in front of your face while in other Linux distributions, you see nothing and you just see that loading thingy moving from 0% to 100%. Not really that complicated. And this is by the way, Arch Linux. And I'm already done with everything, sitting up the machine and all of that. In less than, I don't know how long it took. So let me just see. Seven minutes, literally. And that's while I'm talking, by the way. If I wasn't talking and just like speedrunning the, the installation, it will be like around five minutes just to finish the whole setup and everything. And then starts with the installation. Really convenient in my opinion. Let's just go back to full screen and see what it will do right now. All right, so you can see this. It's going to start downloading everything because the installation or the ISO that you download is basically bare bone Linux. So in order to install all of these, you know, desktop environment scenes, you know, the login screen and all of that, it's need to download it. So that's exactly what it's doing. You can see that I have around 653 megabytes to download and it's doing it for me. And then the installation as well. It's not going to take that long. I would say around 10 minutes, but it depends on your Wi-Fi. If your Wi-Fi is really fast, it's going to be really quick, but mine is not really that fast. So it's going to take a bit of time around like 10 minutes or so, or even less. I'm not really sure, but let's just wait for that thing to get downloaded and installed and then get back to you guys. All right, so the installation is done. And that's why I said before, at some point during the installation, you will have the prompt that will tell you, would you like to see H roots into the newly created installation and blah, 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 blah. I don't really care about that. So keep it default and just select no. Basically we're done. So now all I need to do is stop. 21 minutes and 45 seconds. That's all it took me to install Arch Linux. Can you believe that? That's crazy. Like, wow. For me, my first Arch Linux installation took me around like two hours or so to install the whole thing because I didn't use Arch install but with the power of Arch install you can do it in 21 minutes or less if I didn't really talk that much it will take less than that but because I was yapping and yapping it took 21 minutes and 45 seconds now I'm gonna close that thing and just go with sudo reboots so we boot into Arch Linux there you go let's select Arch Linux JSON and then password yeah no 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 wait 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 plasma wayland yeah of course yeah all right now let me just read side down and here we are we're in arch linux guys one more thing is missing which is sudo wait let me just zoom in a little bit backman uh-huh uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. okay yeah okay perfect then i will go with sudo backman no s gets nano and neo fetch huh oh so there is nano that's good bring a solid doesn't matter but neo fetch targets now found not really a big deal i can go with sudo backman s needed base devil gets what do you mean all right sudo backman needed base devil gets oh i'm stupid yep all right perfect so we're doing it the right way then gets clone https uh-huh uh -uh -uh -uh. okay arch linux dot org dot i believe uh, what is it what is it yay gets all right then we go cd yeah then we're gonna do make package as i wait a little bit now password yes not gonna take that long and all of that for only one thing downloading perfect answering fake roots environments mm -hmm. then the password i'm gonna type password again there you go yes and we're good to go then i will go with the a s neo fetch uh-huh all right arch do your job yes now we can do clear and then neo fetch and here we are we installed arch linux i hope you guys like that video if you did of course don't forget to leave a like and subscribe and let me know in the comments about how long did your first arch linux installation took i would really be happy to know see you in the next one